Friday morning was um, usual work day for me. Seven tons of steel studs were being lifted from the crane at around the 25th floor. The sling support broke. The next thing I knew, you know, I was cold. I couldn't see anything. And I can hear myself screaming in pain. My entire life flashed, you know, through my mind. I asked the doctor what had happened, and he mentioned to me that, um, that I'm paralyzed from neck down and most likely never will be able to walk again. As an architect, I'm always trying to find solutions. And this is a very difficult problem. Why is the wheelchair, which is a thousand years old technology, the only mobility device that we have in this world? My name is Robert Wu, and uh, I'm an architect. I have three boys, and uh, Vivian is my wife. I live in Toronto and in New York City. I am paralyzed from chest down with no functions at all. Nothing works below my level of injury. Being in a wheelchair is very difficult. The things that he talked to me about at that time were things that he could not do. You know, I can't take my kids to the park. Um, you know, they'll never know what it's like to run with me. The simple things that we take for granted in our everyday lives were things that he didn't feel that he could do anymore. The more I thought about it, the more depressed I felt. You know, I thought to myself, what kind of father and what kind of husband am I now? I felt that my life was over. I was looking for any glimmer of hope. Finding the exoskeleton was that glimmer of hope. I came across a rewalk device, a wearable robot that will allow a person who is paralyzed to be able to stand up and walk again. And seeing the videos actually happening and seeing someone who is paralyzed actually walking now and it's not, you know, uh, science, science fiction, that excited me. That gave me a sense of purpose in life, saying that this is what I, I want to be, that guy walking. The depression that I was in turned to excitement, turned to the fact that there is hope. I'm very fortunate to be one of the early people to try it. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to show you something really incredible. Being able to stand and walk again is very exciting. It's a big wow for me. I look back and I say, you know what? You know, it happened for a reason. My life changed, and I'm now making the best of it. All right, now everything is controlled through the watch. So I'm going to stand. Given back that ability to walk, wow, that's, that's an incredible feeling. That excited me. That gave me a sense of purpose. Certain things have started coming back to me. I started getting sensation below my level of injury. You know, I have less pain. My medication intake has been cut in half. Digestive system works much better. One of the significant changes, I have regained um, quad function in my muscles. So I'm able now to lift my legs, not yet strong enough to walk on its own. I shouldn't be getting any of this back. I think the biggest lesson to learn is that life is really short and that you really do have an opportunity to make your life what you want it to be. 
I have a second chance to reset my priorities in life. And I'm much happier now because I spend more time with my children. I can spend more time with my family. As an architect, it is my nature to make things better. I found that there were some issues on the earlier versions, and I've made design suggestions on how to improve the product. Like any new technology, and when it first comes out, the price is quite high. The more people purchase it, the demand will start growing, and then the price will start coming down. As human beings, I think we are always striving to better ourselves, to make our lives easier and more convenient. Not only will the exoskeleton be available to help people who are mobility impaired, but also people who are able-bodied. When I'm in the exoskeleton, I can adapt to any environment. Who knows, one day you would be able to wear it under your clothes and be walking like everybody else. The most important thing is when all hope is lost, don't give up. Don't lose sight of living.